Hi, folks. Well, this will be a quick one. Uh, first of all, and most importantly, got to the post office today and to the P.O. box, and there, as I suspected, was a wonderful shop card from my friend Jeff Donahue out of Colorado, and uh, it is a magnificent coal truck, and uh, I think anybody who has stopped at my site once or twice or regularly um, will already know about Jeff um, because he uh, has been so wonderful in watching my productions <laughs> such as they are and commenting almost always on anything that I put up. And uh, that's not the reason this card is great. This card is great because Jeff has enormous and amazing artistic skills. He demonstrates that with those magnificent builds he does and composition and a new twist. Yeah, there's a QR code on there. And I thought, what the heck? Um, am I gonna get a 10 cent off coupon or something? No, as I suspected, hone in on that code and hit the shutter and up will pop a little link that'll open right to Jeff's YouTube channel. How cool is that? And uh, thank you for the sentiments on the back, Jeff. Really appreciate it. Okay. Um, I almost started on a new project. And then I remembered that Lawrence had been languishing. I've got his camel uh, done. Not done. About 80% done. More about that in a moment. But all I had done with T.E. Lawrence this magnificent sculpt from Andrea Miniatures was the priming. And I said, well, let's get in there and, and get the skin tones on. And so I've spent the day working on that. Uh, I'm going to have Lawrence fairly pale. I just think that's right. I know he's out there in the Arabian and Middle Eastern sun all day, but he's got to be a pale Englishman. So we used very light skin tones, and um, I probably underpaint uh, when it comes, or don't do enough contrast. But I, I, I try to keep things a little more subtle. Um, as a result, my figures probably don't pop as much as they should, but that's the way it's going to be. And um, I am really happy so far with what I've done. Uh, I may do some slight touch-ups. I've got to get his calves and feet to match up better with the hands. But as far as I'm concerned, the face is done. And I got the eyes the way I wanted. I think I can capture that in the still photo, which I'll attach. Um, what I am going to do with the camel is uh, we're going to give it an oil wash. I've got these magnificent oil paints from Optilum 501. And um, I haven't decided whether I'm going to use uh, Burnt Umber, or um, which is a great one, or Brown Wash. And there's a third one here. What's this lighter one called? I think it's Ochre something. Yeah, uh, probably not that one. Well, we'll, we'll experiment a bit. But uh, Camel's going to get a wash to bring out a little more of uh, contrast with the hide and his skin. And um, now the thing I've got to figure out about Lawrence's robes is, do I do them in uh, white, which we all know from the movie, with maybe some gold trim? I'm leaning towards that. And I realized I, I, I've never done anything that big in white. White is tricky. I'm gonna have to watch some videos to see how I go about doing that on a larger scale. Or do I give him a brown coat? Uh, I don't really want to go there. I think I'm going to go with, with white with gold trim and uh, figure out on the fly how to do this. Okay, now the obligatory. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, second day or third day with these amazing, this uh, 
Sable brush set from Monarch, the uh, Pro Sable series, and they are incredible brushes. I think I said I got five for 11 or $12. I think they're more like 11 or $12 a brush. Um, now, I should have looked this up, but you can find them. You'll find them. Uh, maybe I'll put a link to them as well. Okay, let's take a look at the paints we used. And this is just just for uh, just for Lawrence's face, yeah, his the skin tones today. As I said, I was going with a lighter motif, so the base color was Vallejo Salmon Rose, and then I did highlights and, and lightened up the face with light flesh, and I transitioned that by mixing light flesh with Salmon Rose. I just used a little bit of the brown sand for TE's um, eyebrows. I always forget to put the cheekbone glaze bottle out. Uh, I, I don't know why, oversight on my part. There's another, there's a bottle missing. It's the AK Interactive Cheekbone Red, uh, red, black cheekbone glaze. Actually, it's more purple. And then of course, a little, little bit of flesh wash along the mouth, the lines, and uh, lining the underside of the cheeks. Uh, the eyes, I mixed up a blue and white to get a sort of a sparkling blue eye, and the whites of the eyes were my old stand, standard now, uh, clear doped linen. Uh, I know that AK made this for the underside of Sop with Camel Wings, and <laughs> RFC wings, but it works really good for the whites of the eyes. Okay, those are the paints. That's the figure. Um, probably won't do too much more unless I really figure out how to do white in the next 24 hours until uh, the weekend. Another trip. Yes, another trip's coming up uh, down to Redmond, and I don't take my models with me. I'll just lose stuff that way. Okay, close out. Let's close out by looking at that really cool shop card. Uh, I'd say go visit Jeff's channel, but I'm sure, well, if you haven't, you need to. You gotta go see Jeff's channel. And uh, I wonder if I go in here. Now, I think I have to actually take the picture and that would stop everything. But uh, that's the coolest thing. <laughs> actually, the truck is the coolest thing, but that's pretty neat too. I wonder what the little red arrow does. God, probably launches a video or something. Okay, thanks for watching folks. Uh, appreciate your feedback and comments. Keep on modeling.